Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Voomly to add some interactive elements to a training video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Today I have created a very short little training video on how to change a light bulb, and I want to add some interactive elements to it. So I'm going to use Voomly to do that. Let me show you what I have in mind. So here's my script. I'm going to turn off the power and I figured, well, some of my trainees might not know where this breaker box is located. So I want to prompt them to download the floor plan. And then further on, after they've installed it, they might not know what to do with the old light bulb. So I'm going to send them to a link that tells them exactly what to do, how to recycle and dispose of your light bulbs. And then at the very end of the video, I'm going to prompt them with some other training videos that they could watch if they're interested. So those are the three things I'm going to do with this particular training video. So let's head over to Voomly, which is related to Doodly in that the same developers made this product and it's really, really helpful. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we want to tell Voomly that we're going to make an interactive video. And I want to create a funnel. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to connect. I have actually three different videos that I'm going to connect. So let's give it a name. Facilities Maintenance, let's just say. Now I need to upload my videos. So I click over here. Okay, now they're uploaded. So now let's drag our first video into the workspace. This is my start video. And then we'll drag the other two in. And this is very familiar if you watch the other tutorials on Voomly. Now, one of the things I could do is put them in order. So when this one ends, we could just click and drag and make it play this one, how to mop up a spill at the end. And then when this ends, we can just drag that over and how to unclog a toilet. That's one way. And I think that's what we'll do today because we did the buttons last a couple weeks ago. So this is just another option that you can use in Foomly. So now these individual videos are strung together so that they will just play automatically one after the other. Well, we want to do a little bit more. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and edit our first one, how to change a light bulb. You click it and then click the pencil icon. If you recall, at some point, okay, after this first step, turn off the power at the breaker box and switch off the light. We want to download the floor plan. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we want a button. And we'll just go ahead and place it down here for the time being. And let's move our playhead and figure out where we want it to start. Probably right about here, because what if they don't know where that is? So I'm just going to drag this over. And it doesn't need to be super long. Not everybody's going to need to click it. And then let's move it down. Let's say right here. And let's give it a name. I'm going to make my font just a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the button color. Let's make it green. And I think that's fine. Now we need to tell it what to do on click. Do nothing? No. We want it to open a URL. Right now it's defaulting to boomly.com. Well, that's not what we want. Right here is my floor plan. It's in Dropbox. So I'm going to go ahead and right click it and then copy my Dropbox link. And then I go over here and paste that in. And now anytime somebody clicks on this button of when they're watching the video, they'll go to my Dropbox where they can get a copy of the floor plan. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now let's look back at our little script 
And then down here, after installing the new light bulb into the socket, they need to figure out how to recycle and dispose of these light bulbs. So I want to send them to this link here. So how am I going to do that? First, we go back to Voomly. We could make it an image annotation this time. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and find out our position. Maybe right in here. We could do an image annotation. Just drag it in and you get this little image. We're going to call it EPA How to Recycle Bulbs. This is just for our own use that doesn't actually display. And then on click, we want to open the URL and then we want to copy and paste that actual website URL there. Now, of course, I need an image, so I have to create that real quick. So bear with me. OK, I went ahead and created a little graphic to go in here. It's not going to be anything fancy. So to upload it, I go over here to upload image and I click browse. And it is on my desktop. And it's right here. And there it is. So this is going to just pop up. And when they click on that, then they will go to that website that I told you about. And then the last thing was the next steps, how to mop up a spill or how to unplug a, a toilet. As I mentioned earlier, they're going to play automatically when the video ends. If you wanted to, you could add a button and tell it what to do next play video and then you would choose the video that you want to play next but we're not going to do that today so i have everything i want to do already accomplished in this particular one so let's go back to interactive video and let's see what this looks like so if i hit preview my video is going to play And then coming up, I should have my first one. Yes, download facility floor plan. So I can click that. And what do you know? I'm going to Dropbox and here it is. Here's my little floor plan. And here's the electrical room. And I imagine this is that little breaker cabinet. So let's go back. Watch it again. Whoops. Watch it again. This time I'm not going to click on that button. We're just going to let it play. And we should have our next one. Yes, right here. How to dispose of the used light bulbs. And what do you know? It took me exactly to the website on how we can recycle and dispose of these things. Let's watch it one last time. And it should, at the very end of this video, take us directly to the next video that we had strung together. Should be how to mop up a spill. Now, I think I have like 10 seconds of just this. Oh, no, okay. And then here's our next one. Okay, good. Hit play, how to mop up a spill. This one's super short. I didn't do anything other than just put this little title screen on. And it's gonna end in just a minute. Okay, that just ended. And boom, there's our next video ready to go. Just hit play, how to unclog a toilet. And there you have it. Those are a few different techniques that you can use in Boomly to make your training videos a little bit more interactive. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.